Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I wanted to go really quickly through the things I'm currently reading slash I have out from the library that are possibly going to happen this month. A lot of them are graphic novels, which I'm really excited about, and I have some fiction as well to offset all of the nonfiction that I read last month. So I read Speak at the end of the month and decided to pick up the graphic novel. I'm about halfway through, so I really want to finish this one. It's so similar. It's kind of interesting just how much is being conveyed in here that is basically conveyed in here, which is understandable because it's very sparse and lots of empty space. I also took out Goldie Vance Volume 4 from the library. I'm only like a few pages in, but I just want some like fun, relaxing, lighthearted things, and that's Goldie Vance. I believe this one has to do with putting on a music festival and then people start disappearing and then Goldie has to save the day. Another graphic novel that I put a bunch on hold that are in order right now that have been on best of lists for 2018 for best graphic novels. One of those that has already come in is Sabrina and this one is supposed to be political and having to do with our political moment and that's all I need to know to get into it. It has lots of really tiny boxes which I didn't necessarily expect um, and I don't usually read graphic novels like this, and especially with this kind of art. So we'll see what I end up thinking about this and all those other ones that ended up on the best of lists. I also picked up Five Worlds, which I saw on Sylvia's channel, and it's another, I think, JGN that I could suggest to kids at the library, especially kids who like read Amulet. They might like this. It's got that kind of fantasy element that they might like. I really like the colors inside too. They're really fun. I also got Louisa, which from my understanding has already is a book that's already written and then it's been adapted by Mariko Tamaki and I love Mariko Tamaki's illustrations so I just swapped it when I saw that it was one more thing that she had created. It says it's Louisa's journey in a time-traveling queer romance set for the modern age. So we'll see. Um, another one that is queer is The Bride Was a Boy and this one is a manga. And I don't read very many mangas, but I read cute things about this in a newsletter. So I decided, Vanessa, give mangas a chance again. It's very cutely drawn, and I give it that. Um, but we'll see if it's, like, too cutesy for me. And the faces, I think that's what bothers me sometimes about manga, is just the faces are too much for me. They're a little bit too overdramatic. Spill Zone Volume 2, this is The Broken Vow. I read the first one like two years ago because that's <laughs> right when it came out. I like these because they're very short. I like them because they are set in kind of like a weird sort of world. I'm not usually into science fiction-y kind of stories, but this one I like. I don't know if the story and the characters are all there for me, but definitely the setting is there for me. Like I mentioned in my last video, still reading heavy, um, about an hour or so into the audiobook, and it's only like six parts, which is good. So that'll be a quick one. I'm also currently reading Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I'm about 70-ish pages into it. I like it because it alternates between 1950-something and then in the 1960s um, when there's a mystery, there's somebody dead, they're trying to figure out who did it, and it's following this girl who basically raised herself in the middle of nowhere in the swamp, and they're trying to pin this murder on her. And you kind of go back and forth between learning about her and then learning about why everybody in town does not like her. And let's see, two more things. I got Normal People by Sally Rooney because I've heard two people say good things about it, Claire and Mercedes. And don't really read romances, I'm trying to get into like intellectual romances here. So I want to try this one out and see what I think. And lastly, the biggest one is On a Sunbeam. This is by Tilly Walden. It's supposed to be a queer romance space opera. I really enjoyed Tilly, Tilly Walden's graphic memoir about her ice skating and um, developing friendships in a new town. I didn't love it. But I think this is supposed to be a tour de force, like her master work. And I'm, I'm excited to dive in and crack the spine and see what I think about this story. The art is cutesy, but the text is also tiny, so that's my huge stack. And that's not all of it because I do have like four things coming on hold that are on order, they haven't arrived yet. There are those graphic novels that I'm excited to get to um, and graphic memoirs as well. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're having a great December reading month so far and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.